Hey guys, Gare here. A half dozen or so years ago, I remember speaking to some people about wanting to start a Facebook movie group. And I had a very specific, particular aim in mind that this group uh, would be a group that um, focused was strictly on, on film, on movie makers, the actors, the directors, everybody that who goes into making movies and that we would discuss film of all kinds uh, world cinema American releases classic Hollywood uh, films uh, foreign language films silent movies uh, South Korean cinema uh, everything uh, across the board we would talk about movies and that we would not get into you know celebrity gossip celebrity scandal uh, who was dating who, who was divorcing who, who had beat up who and was being thrown in jail. Um, you know, if you wanted to talk about, if you were stuck on talking about Jane Fonda in Hanoi instead of Jane Fonda in Clute and, you know, many of her other fine films, uh, if you couldn't be in a group uh, talking about Woody Allen's uh, cinematic history without getting into Mia Farrell and Sunni then you know we probably weren't the group, we're going to be the group for you. And I was told that this wasn't possible, you know, that people, a group like that wouldn't last, we wouldn't have many members, they would fritter away, uh, you know. So today, um, going into the third week of August 2017, happy fifth anniversary to my Facebook movie group, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me, where guess what? Uh, we do exactly uh, what my goal was a half dozen years ago, and we've been doing it for five years. As of the 24th of this month, uh, will be our actual fifth anniversary, uh, and it's just been a fantastic experience for me. Um, I've been pretty strict about who I let into the group the last several years. Um, you know, my goal was never to have a big, giant group of tens of thousands of people who, you know, most of them probably don't show up a lot of the time. I really wanted the focus to be on true film lovers who enjoyed getting together and talking about the movies, talking about cinema and aspects of filmmaking, uh, and didn't get into personal peccadillo and scandals and, and things like that. And here we are, five years later, we're doing it. We're still going strong, and um, name of the group came to... I, I had trouble, I wasn't able to get the group going for a while because I wanted a good name for it. I wanted a strong name, something that would kind of stand out and stick in people's mind. And my friend Ann Rice uh, said, why didn't, I, I had written an essay a few years earlier about um, movie fables. And I had titled the essay, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me, and Ann suggested that title of your essay you wrote a few years ago, Movie Magic Mesmerized Me, uh, that would make a good name for a group. And I thought, that sounds like what you're looking for. And I thought, that's it. You know, it's like a light bulb went off. So, Movie Magic Mesmerized Me, or M4 for short, a happy fifth anniversary, a big thank you to all of our fantastic members, our administrators that we have. We just have incredible people, We've made great friends. Uh, and just really cherish friends in the group, and I know other people have made friends within the group, like, you know, not necessarily with me, but with, um, you know, with each other. So, to honor our fifth um, anniversary, we're going to have a contest. <clears throat> I think it's a special contest, and I'm going to show, first show you what you are, what you will win, and then I will tell you how to go about it. Uh, what you will win will be a signed copy of Anne and Christopher Rice's upcoming novel, the sequel to Anne Rice's, I think it was 1990 uh, novel, The Mummy, Rams Ramsey's the Dead, Ramsey's, <laughs> I've forgotten what the name of it was, Ramsey's the Damn, The Mummy, uh, the sequel, uh, thank you very much, is called Ramsey's the Dead, The Passion of Cleopatra, which Anne has written with her son, Christopher Rice. I actually first read this book in manuscript 
mm, about this time last year, late summer or so, and it's just fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's really a page turner. Uh, it's a highly readable book. It's a very enthralling story. I know you're going to love it. And uh, one one of the things that I really liked about it was I loved how Anne in the original book. <clears throat> The book is set in the 19-teens, and it has a very, very good Edwardian quality about it. It really feels like of that time, of that period. And this book, which takes up right where the first book left off, uh, keeps that going. Uh, and there's wonderful, uh, we're back with some familiar characters from The Mummy, and there's some wonderful new characters, uh, very fascinating new characters. In particular, I, I like a character, I wish I could talk more about her, but... Uh, she's a writer in the book who comes along kind of later in the book, and you will understand uh, whenever you read it, uh, you know, why uh, I liked her so much. But uh, the book is signed, uh, and very generously, she and Knopf and her editor, Victoria Wilson, uh, have helped us with getting five signed copies of the book. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get Christopher a signature on them, but we do have Anne's signature. Um, and we will, starting right away, the contest starts right away, as soon as you see this video, you can start posting, and um, the week after the con, the deadline for the contest will be our actual anniversary, the 24th, which I believe is next Thursday, Thursday, August the 24th at midnight will be the deadline and I will announce the winners the next day and the week after that I will mail you the books and this book does not add this is an advanced readers copy uh, you may be able to see that down there and so this is um, as far as I know there's no moratorium no embargo on this going out uh, to other countries before pub day late in November so you're going to be getting this book almost three months in advance of publication day uh, which is just fantastic and uh, so anyone is qualified to be in the contest uh, you know all of our regular members 5,000 plus it doesn't matter if you're an administrator it doesn't matter if you're in another country if you're interested in the book and you want to join in the contest uh, do so and um, what, what I want you what I'm asking you to do for the contest since we're on the theme of five um, name five movies that you would pick if all you could watch for the rest of your life was those five movies. Just a list of five movies that, you know, I don't know, everything ended and there was only five movies you could take with you. You know, you were on an island or something, but you somehow you had the capability of watching movies. And But and there's only five, and it's up to you what you pick, you know, so... What would you pick? Would you try? Uh, would you try to go with uh, tried and true classics that you know you love? Would you try to pick some, maybe some films you've always heard about but never seen? And something new that you hadn't seen before? Uh, I'm pretty sure that I would pick like some beloved favorites of mine uh, that that I would watch and I wouldn't mind watching over and over again. So um, I'm asking you that to do your own post on. Uh, movie magic mesmerize me the naming the films that you, that you your five picks uh, alert me in some way or other that you've you've done your entry do not comment do not put your answer in the comments of the video that will not count as an entry uh, and just make sure that I know about your entry and um, good luck to everybody thanks to Ann and Christopher and Victoria Wilson and Knopf again they've been really good to us over the years we've had several contests uh, for Ann's books over the years and they're always been our biggest contest by far as you can imagine uh, you know and trust me you want this book you don't want to wait till have to wait until Thanksgiving to get this book you know so here's your chance so and the contest just so you know our drawings. Uh, I put everybody's name into a bowl, my famous blue and white bowl uh, that Ann gave to me. It gave me a lot of blue and white one time. And um, I just picked the names. I will just blindly pick the names out of the bowl. And like I said, a week later, I will mail you your copy of the book. So uh, thanks again to everybody for being a part of this fantastic group. I 
Uh, I will unashamedly say that I think we're the best movie group on Facebook. I really do. You know, people tell me that all the time, and you know, of course, they're going to be nice to me because, you know, I'm the administrator. Uh, but uh, I always thought I've always thought of the group as being, you know, um, it's everybody's group. You know, I really I've never liked to think of it as being, you know, Gary and his followers. Uh, you know, we have a lot of wonderful people who are very active and participate in the group in a big way every day of the week, you know, around the clock. And our group goes 24-7, uh, you know, and some people are there all the time. Some people kind of come in here and there. Some people you see hear from every once in a while. That's all fine, uh, you know, but we really appreciate our members who have been constants and have been with us for a long time. So thanks to you guys a whole lot. Good luck to everybody. I'm really, really interested in seeing what your responses are going to be. So if you have any questions, just let me know on M4. And I will, I'm, pasting this, I'm posting this on YouTube as well. So I will put the link to Movie Magic Mesmerize Me uh, below. So thanks a lot, guys, and take care.